I am so happy right now. We got another chapter of Boku no Hero already translated. Oh my god, I, I just want to say right now that I'm so glad this series is getting translated fast. I really am. Of course, we're not caught up with the current chapter, but at the very least, we're getting a chapter a week, and it's making me happy. It's absolutely making me happy how the translators, whoever's translating this series right now, is just taking the time to actually translate this wonderful series, because the potential is so freaking high when it comes to Boku no Hero. So, this week, I'm going to be reviewing Boku no Hero Chapter 6. Oh my god. Okay, so, this chapter, I, I'm just going to say right now, we find out a couple of interesting things in this chapter, and for the most part, the chapter is decent. It's a very short chapter, honestly. It's a very short chapter that introduces the different powers to different people in this chapter, like the classmates of our main male character, Izuku. And at the exact same time, we get to see the demonstration of the teacher Aizawa's power. We get to find out why he's called the Eraser, or the Eraser Teacher. I think that's his exact title. But we find out why he has the nickname, like, Eraser, and we see his power demonstrated, along with the overall development at the end of this chapter. To start off, I want to talk about a couple things. For one thing, the ending conclusion of this chapter got me pretty freaking hyped for this series because it seems like Izuku is actually learning how to control his powers. Like, for instance, he doesn't know how to make his power go 50% or 75% or even 99%. He doesn't know how to lower his power down even 1%, but either he has to go all in with his power, 100% maximum strength, or he has to go, like, you know, to 0% where he doesn't try at all. That's how Izuku can use his powers because he doesn't really know how to control his power at the moment for from All Might. But with this chapter, we actually get some progression with Izuku. He actually learns to control his power just a little bit. He didn't lower his power capacity when he actually threw the ball at the end of this chapter, but he managed to actually only use 100% of his power in one specific area. Instead of using like his entire arm, like his entire arm to sling the ball that would shatter his entire bones and it would make it like his bones turn to dust, pretty much what happened a couple chapters back. Pretty much, he had it to where he threw the ball with a finger. It that freaking destroyed his finger. Holy shit, the finger. Did you see that? The finger, oh my god. I'm willing to bet that was freaking painful. I don't even want to imagine how painful your finger must feel if it's crushed like that. Oh. But anyways, he manages to actually use 100% of his power in just his finger, and he, like, makes the damage only in his finger. So it's not as bad. It wouldn't, like, cripple him to where he couldn't move, or he would be knocked unconscious, or he'd be in a critical state. And so this shows you progression with Izuku's character to be able to accomplish something like this. Now, one thing I will say, though, with the ending conclusion also, it seems like Aizawa is starting to grow close with Izuku at the end of this. Like, you see him smile towards our main male character, and he seemed like he was congratulating him and stuff like that from what I can tell from his face. So clearly, there's definitely going to be a nice, good connection between these two, and I'm really becoming a big fan of that teacher. He's a very stern teacher, but at the exact same time, you can tell he cares about his students because he did not let Izuku use 100% of his power. Like, right off the bat, Izuku was going to use 100% of his power and probably shatter his arm in this chapter, but Aizawa actually stopped him, erased his power. That's actually what I'm going to get into. The reason why Aizawa is nicknamed like the Erasing Hero or whatever is because he can actually nullify someone's powers. He can completely erase their powers where you cannot use their powers. We don't know exactly how he does it, but from what I can guess from this chapter and the key visual signs, it has something to do with his eyesight because his eyes changed. He seemed a lot different, like his entire facial structure changed, like the way he looked, like his character design freaking changed when he used his power. But it's not just that. After you see he like gives the power back to Izuku, he puts eye drops in his eyes. So clearly... His, like, eraser power has something to do with his eyes. So I'm guessing he has to make some form of eye contact with his enemy or someone he wants to erase their powers. I I'm going to take a guess right now. That's probably how his power works. But either way, a very dangerous and OP power because, I mean, if the teacher wants, he can just freaking erase anyone's power, even a villain's power, and they're fucked. They, they can't do nothing, and he wins. It doesn't seem like actually the person that gets their power nullified can use their power until the sensei, the teacher, actually allows them to use it. We don't know if there's a specific time frame to his power. We don't know if it's because of his strength. We don't know if it, like, weakens his endurance or something if he uses it. We have no idea 
what is the repercussions if he uses his power because he definitely had to put eye drops in and the reason why i'm saying most likely there is a repercussion is because we've had seen some issues with people using their powers for instance izuku he hurts his body if he tries to use his power he like crushes his bones but it's not just limited to izuku that actually has negative effects when it comes to his power ochiko in this chapter the girl that can use zero gravity we find out if she uses her powers way too much she will get violently woozy like she'll get like nauseous if she uses her powers too much and so clearly from this aspect of this chapter it shows us that your powers can have negative effects so just because you can control your powers really good and you're an expert and you've grown up with this power doesn't mean your powers cannot have negative effects so clearly maybe the teacher has some form of negative effects when it comes to his eyes maybe that explains why his eyes always seem very bloodshot you know i mean look at his eye design from the last chapter and this chapter his eyes are always bloodshot or it looks like they're overused or he's very tired it explains his entire personality if it is like that so we'll have to see exactly where the essence of if powers have negative effects come into when it plays to the teacher now past the other bits we see a little bit of introductions to the powers of the other characters like i think the character's name is tenya in this chapter we have that character that's pretty much just a stuck-up class representative that's exactly what tenya is he had a fight in the last chapter i remember he was arguing with uh bakugo and pretty much we are demonstrated that his power is like engine. That's exactly what his power's name is. And it seems like he could turn his legs into an actual engine. Because he states like he had to go into gear 3 like a freaking vehicle. So it makes me think that he could just turn his legs into an engine. I wonder if that's only limited to his actual legs. Can he use it in his arms? I mean, where what's the limitation when it comes to that power called engine? And so, oh yes, ba Bakugo actually gets his power shown to us too. It's actually finally given a title and reveal. His power is like explosion. He uses the power of explosion. It seems like he can just use anything he wants to explode. Like, he used uh, both his arms to explode behind him to give himself like a boost to where he can go across the finish line faster in this chapter. So clearly, he, he can use explosions, but we don't know necessarily what type of explosions can he do. Like, for instance, can he only use explosions from his hands? Can he use it from any part of his body we still need to know that there still needs to be more clarification when it comes to his power but overall the chapter is very good very simple chapter just sets the groundwork for the different powers that probably for the characters we should probably care about for the future of this series now like i said the teacher looking forward to the teacher because that teacher is definitely fucking badass and i love it a lot the ending conclusion freaking amazing and the artwork looks freaking ridiculous oh my god so let's hope the next chapter of uh, Boku no Hero Chapter 7 gets translated very soon. If we're lucky, let's hope the translators actually work on another chapter this week and get one, another one out. I'd be so freaking happy. I, oh my god, I'd be so happy if we get another chapter this week, Chapter 7. But overall, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.